Okay, so this question asks us to express the following in exact radians. Okay, well, the conversion factor when you're converting from degrees to radians is going to be pi over 180 degrees. Now, it's important to understand that this is a conceptual thing here. Pi divided by 180 is not equal to 1. But what it represents is these are the same things here. Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get rid of the degree here and replace it with our, our radian, our kind of our non-unit uh, measure of, of uh, angle here. So we're going to multiply 340 by pi over 180. Now, what's going to happen here is we want this in exact values here, or as an exact radian. So we're going to just take and reduce this fraction. We're going to leave the pi in there and reduce the 340 divided by 180. And now you can do this on your calculator. Okay, you can go 340 divided by 180. You get the kind of a weird decimal, but if you press your math button, okay, right here, math, the first option that you get is convert to fraction, and it'll convert that to a fraction. So that reduces to 17 over 9. And so we're left with 17 pi, because we didn't touch the pi, over 9. There's the answer. Okay, let's move on and let's do this next one. 135 degrees, we'll do the same thing. We're going to multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to leave the pi in there, not going to touch it. But we're going to deal with this 135, whoops, sorry, 135 divided by 180. Okay, get the fraction there. You're going to be 0.75 here. Now, you probably can tell what that is right away without converting that to a fraction. Okay, it's going to be 3 quarters which means we're going to have 3 pi over 4. And then when we come over here, whoops, sorry, caught my shirt, negative 270, same thing, we're going to multiply by pi over 180. Now notice this is negative, so our answer is going to be negative, because what, what the procedure that we're applying here isn't going to change that. And so we'll now we'll take, go back to our calculator, we'll take 270 divided by 180, we get 1.5, and again, you probably can tell what that fraction is without having to do this, but let's do it anyway. 3 over 2, so our answer is negative 3 pi over 2. Okay, now we've done all these questions here. Now, however, I want to go back and I want to talk about these again. I want to show you how to do something on your calculator that you might, you might like. Okay, we're going to come back to this 340. Now, I want to convert this into radians, okay? Now, to convert into radians, I need to be in, press the mode button, I need to be in the mode that I'm going to convert to, and I am in radian mode. Okay, so that's good. So we'll quit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put brackets here, and I'm going to enter the value 340. Now, you don't always need the brackets, and in this particular question, you probably don't. However, there are some times when you will, so it's just a good idea to just do it regardless here. So 340, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into an, uh, uh, a menu here that you might not be used to going into. Second, I'm going to press apps to get into my angle menu, okay? And when I do that, I get these options up here. Now I want to focus up here. This is a degree here. So the angle that we've just entered is a degree. So I'm going to press enter to choose this. And so what this is going to do is it's going to identify that this is Okay, 340 degrees. Now when I press enter, it automatically converts it into radians. That's the radian measure. Now you might sit there and think, well, that's not highly useful to me because I was supposed to write it as an exact form. Let's just think about this. Why is there a weird decimal there? It's because in my answer there's a pi. So just for the time being, just for a moment, let's divide out the pi. Okay, let's convert what I'm left with here to a fraction and now put the pi back in, 17 pi over 9. Here's my answer. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's try this one. So 135, so put brackets here, 135. I'm going to go into my angle menu. I'm going to tell the calculator that what I've just entered is a degree. Press enter. And I, there's my decimal value, that is my radian measure, but I'm going to divide out the pi, convert what I have left to a fraction, and put the pi back in, 3 pi over 4. And then finally, we'll try this one, 
negative 270. Tell the calculator by going into your angle menu that that's a, deg uh, a degree. There's my answer, but I'm going to divide out the pi, convert that to a fraction, and then put the pi back in, negative 3 pi over 2. There you go.